Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. AGF Malami refuses witch hunt conspiracy. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. Very big thank you to every one of you out there for your support. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe if this is your first time. Thanks for always being there. The Attorney General of the Federation has been indicted by Ibrahim Mago, the suspended uh, EFCC boss. In a well-organized democratic setting, if somebody has been indicted for one cause or the other, it is expedient that that person steps down while the course of investigation takes its full course. That person is supposed to take a break, wait, and allow for full investigation. It's only in Nigeria that people do things and just get away with it. And nobody articulately says, let us have a look at this. It's the same in Nigerian politics. If you step on the wrong toes, you get investigated. Ibrahim Magu is saying that one of his greatest faults was to try and investigate the person of Achiwaju Bola Tinubu, the national, the national uh, leader of APC. Touching Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu is like touching, trying to touch a deadly uh, you know, scorpion or snake. And guess what? It stings and it's very venomous. It was recorded. It's not a story. It's not a gain say. It's on picture. was caught that during Buhari's second tenure, the uh, election that took place in 2019, they saw pulling vans driving into Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu's compound loaded with cash, dollars, uh-huh. To mention but a few, this is the kind of country that we are in. We are the rich, oppress the poor. There are children who went to bed yesterday hungry. Yet, our hungry politicians will not do the needful. Why do they have to go abroad for medical checkup? These are things that squanders the wealth of Nigeria's economy. Mo, uh, what's her name? Aisha Buhari just came back from EAU. Yes, she almost had a plane crash. She and her daughter, they almost had a plane crash. God saved them. What are we talking about? How can they effectively manage our educational system when Buhari's children are schooling in the UK, the United Kingdom? UK for short. That's why he would tell you universities will still resume. He doesn't care. His children are not schooling in the, in the country. Well, Nigeria, eh, this country is a scam. Let's continue with the news and get all the details. These are leaders. Have you heard that Prince Harry, or what is his brother's name, came to school in Nigeria, Ife? Never. They, they don't even school in America. They school in their country, giving the educational system credibility. Trump has children and grandchildren. They school in America. They don't go to Canada to school because Canada have better school, go to the UK, or go to Australia. No, it's only in Nigeria. Where we don't even value our own. It's very annoying, guys. Let's get straight into the news. AGF Malami refused claim of winch hunt conspiracy. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, has said that he did not produce witnesses to testify against anybody before Justice Ayo Salami led panel. This panel is probing the suspended. Chairman of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, Mr. Ibrahim Mago. Malami, in a statement issued by Dr. Uman, his media aide on Monday in Abuja, said he was not saddled with the responsibility to produce weaknesses for the panel, nor did he conspire to winch hunt anybody. He said the attention of the office of the minister was drawn to a third allegation made by one Victor Gideon, Esquire alleging that the, co the conspiracy with one Mr. Donab to which haunt him to refuse to for refusing to testify against Ibrahim Magu before Justice Salami led panel. He however dismissed the allegation as fictitious, unfounded, and a fragment of just his imagination of mischief makers as Malami never discussed such an issue with Gideon. 
The Honorable Attorney General never met Gideon and has never discussed any issue with the so-called Dan, who did not ask anybody personally or provix or pros to engage in so-called Victor to testify against Melami. He did not set up the investigation panel to probe Melam and Mago and is not saddled with the responsibility to procure witnesses for the panel. He added that the Attorney General was never a member of the panel, nor does, not, nor does fall within the realm of the Attorney General's authority to invite witnesses for a presidential probe panel. The claim by Victor Gideon Esquire is therefore unreal. Is just imagining things, I can tell you. There are also laboring concerns these days to failure castigated on the AGF hand reputation. The Honorable Attorney General of the Federation hereby call on the so-called Victor Gideon to come and reclaim his allegations with details of the following. When did Gideon meet with the Attorney General on the issue? Where did the meeting with the Attorney General on this issue occur? How was the meeting? Was it by proxy or did the Attorney General send a representative? In what capacity was the representative, if any, sent? What were the terms of the agreement? Was, what was the claim offered? How did the so-called offer to testify against Magu was made? Who were the witnesses or statement reads? Gideon had in a statement on Sunday alleged that it was Malami who instigated his arrest and that one Fatima Hassan, after they have refused to implicate Magu in evidence, they gave therefore before Justice Salami panel last week. Like we always say, there is no smoke without fire, yes? I don't know what this issue are, I was never there. But the truth of the matter is, if there is no smoke without fire, it therefore says when there is uh, an idea, when something is being craft, when somebody is coming up to say this or that, we're not saying it is what it is, but we are saying it calls for a consign. Why not look? Why not prove? Why not investigate? The Attorney General of the Federation has constantly been, you know, entangled with all this and nobody as a matter of fact, has paid attention to say, let's look at this. What is going on here? Nobody. In fact, he goes to the office duty, uh, business as usual, as if nothing has happened. Can we continue with this as a country and say all is well? Where are we headed? Where are we headed? When some people are covered. Take, for instance, the governor of Kanu State, a dollar man, caught in camera with collecting bribe. Yet his hands has not been cut off, but he's weeping, he's flogging people, uh, uh, sentencing people to death for singing, for blaspheming. Who are we deceiving? So when it's fair, he's on your side. And when it's unfair, the poor take the fall for it. Leave a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.